Good morning, guys. How you doing? I am ready for arms. Are you um, actually not quite ready? I was just reading through the um, the full workout and seeing how I need to set up and what um, yeah what weights we need. So let's just go one section at a time. Look at these supersets are two exercises for the same muscle group. Oftentimes we'll do tri uh, tricep, bicep, tricep, bicep. We're going to hammer it today with bicep, bicep four times. And then we're going to go tricep, tricep four times. And then we're going to go down to threes and twos, crab dance. Oh gosh. We'll look at the core later. <laughs> all right. Hope you're all feeling great. Um, just looking here for my uh, live feed and um, ready to go. I don't know what happened to my music though. One thing comes and one thing goes. Uh, there. And um, body bomb. Okay. I found us. Good morning, Linda. Good morning, Sarah. Hi. And good morning, Don Robert. I kind of think Rebecca's there too somewhere. I'm gonna say hi anyways. Good morning, everybody. Let's do this. Bicep, bicep, 12 reps. I got eights out just to see how that goes. Okay, that music might go on me again. All right, so a bent over uh, row might feel like back, and it is a bit of back. I want you to feel with these um, internally rotated uh, um, underhand, uh, position a little more of your bicep working, okay? And 12, and then cross body hammer one, one, two, two, okay? Three, four. Thumbs up. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, these are going to really burn us out. If you need to take a rest, you should start feeling that uh, bicep activate a bit. Um, what was yesterday? We did uh, delts. I don't know why. I've been feeling bicep uh, burn all week, except for legs. Two more of this. Good grief. No breaks. Skull crusher. You're going to be lying on the floor or on your bench for um, head banger, skull crusher, tricep extension, and close grip head bench. So let's go to, yeah, it's two dumbbells for that one. Okay. All right. We'll get to that when we get to that. I just like to think ahead a little bit. Um, bent over reverse grip row. Nine, ten, eleven. 
couple, last couple are difficult. One more set. If you need to um, lower your weights to keep the 12 reps going, or if you want to keep your weights and go for 10, um, 10 reps, that's a, a great idea too. Just got to get my music going because I need it desperately. It's not the best music. I can't have, I've probably told you this before, I can't have a regular music on a video because uh, copyright. So I've got this, uh, you know, these playlists are not uh, copyright free music. So I've got used to it. <laughs> um, oh, bench over, biceps. Oh, row. <laughs> Those can also be done standing up, right? So if you're standing up, you're really going to feel the biceps there. Anyways, we'll put those in on another day. So that is four. I'm pretty sure that's four. Good. Um, spell pressure here, bang, and then close grip. I'm going to try for these 15. Because it's a 12 rep set again, um, especially for the close grip press, you probably could use more weight, but it's probably not smart because after four sets of 12 reps each, there's going to be a burn. Okay, we're going to pre exhaust these muscles. And then the next two rounds are going to be badass, okay? All right, here we go. You could put those two weights together to stabilize and bend backwards to the top of your head. And then close grip comes right down beside your um, upper torso and hits uh, the chest, of course, but there's a, a big focus on triceps, too. in between these sets. 15 is challenging for 12 and 12. And this one, definitely, you don't want to drop the weight on your head, right? So, um, you know, for me, this is where the 12s would come in really handy. And I know I've been harping on it and I've been meaning to go get them. Um, I am going to get them. I think I have 12s in Buffalo. Hmm. I still want them here too. Okay. Let's go for second set, dumbbell, skull crusher. Well, watch the tension in your neck, even in your um, prone position, okay?
12. Ooh. So, that burns. <laughs> Have some coffee now before you can't lift that cup. Um, look, two more sets. If you have the option to go down and wait and you need to do that, do that. I'm going to stick with my 15s and go down to 10 rep sets for the next two. And then we get into some real serious biceps are going to burn. Okay. Yeah, I'm just cautioning you once again, even down in this position, it's very easy to scrunch up that neck and get tension. So try and lengthen it out or in between sets, ease it off. All right. There's 10 for me. I'm going to shoot for 10. I might get 8 out of this one. Again, if you have to go down and wait, um, keep good form. Don't snap at those elbows, okay? You don't want to cause problems in, in any of these joints. Um, it takes a while to heal that. All right. Last set. Dumbbell spell pressure and close grip press. Triceps. Back of your arm. So, um, on an incline, your arms are going to hang. Yeah, um, they're going to hang at your sides. If you cannot do that, um, leaning back, I would even lean forward and let them and let them hang. So right here. We're taking out the help of our core and torso, right? And then those biceps have to behave um, independently. They can work independently. Now these are 10 and 10, so band curls are the second one. I'm ready, I'm ready. Okay, there we go. So, in a recline position, Look at them hanging like that, and then it's uh, 10 reps. Watch there, because definitely the... Um, 
tendency would be to snap at the bottom, just allow them to fall, and that's a problem. That's a problem for those tendons and ligaments to, uh, you know, snap into action to try and protect. You don't want to do that. Burn, baby, burn. Um, I don't know why I feel because there's only two more sets. I want to blast these babies. I'm at the bingo wings age. If I don't make sure there's good solid muscle here, skin is going to flap that. That happens. Skin, um, loses its elasticity and it's really hard to get it back in there and in my opinion filling it with muscle is the best thing you can do. You can't wear those cute little outfits with the sleeves here though because they don't fit. <laughs> no great loss. Alright. Sleeveless are beautiful when you have good arms. Ten. Good job, you guys. Right, one more set for those biceps. And then we're into a tricep push-up if you need a padding for, um, for your knees. If you're going to go modified, if you're going to go pull up, God bless you. Send me a picture of that. <laughs> oh, full out tricep. I'll try one. Hey, you know, sometimes if you don't try, you don't know that you've gained that strength. And I'm, I'm the worst for it. It's like, yeah, forget it. But um, I tell you to do it, so I've got to do it too. Try the hardest mm, level modification that you think that you can do. Test yourself every once in a while. You will surprise yourself. So right after this one, I'm going to set one more timer before our, you know what we really could do? Let's do that. Let's do our Tabata cardio right after this and then our abs. How about that? Switching things up again, freaking the body out. I like it.
10, all in one. Nine and a half, surprising myself. Uh, that has a lot to do with mental focus too. Um, when you're put on the spot, like I am put on the spot doing this in front of the camera, your brain and your body seem to pull out magic from that. Uh, you know, yeah. When you're home alone and you're telling yourself, no, I can't, it's really easy not to. Now, be careful going back to your second set, okay? You just hammered 20 focused triceps out there, and it's highly unlikely. Well, the intent would be that you, you, you fatigue yourself so much that you can't do any more in good form. So, check it out. Whew. We haven't done supersets with one muscle group for a while. This is challenging. Four. Okay, so it feels like a 20 rep set. <laughs> no words. No words. We got one more set here. And then, like I said, we're going to go to our Tabata. And then when you're cooling off from your Tabata, I'm going to set us up. I didn't set a timer for the 30 seconds and 30 seconds for our And I really want to do that, okay? <laughs> that crab dance. That's going to use our triceps again. We need this break. All right. closer. There you go. Nine. And ten. I love that. It's humbling. But it's all so satisfying. When you get yourself to a place that you cannot do one more rep in good form, you've toasted that muscle. Done. All right. timer. I got 10 seconds on the clock for me to get prepared. Um, and we go eight rounds, right? 20 seconds, 10 seconds rest.
This first round always feels great. I feel like I can go forever. 10 seconds rest. And go. Show you that's where my uh, rope is. It's my armpits. This one. The other one I think is a little shorter, which is fine too. Second half. down just a bit and let me uh, create a 30-30. You're going to need your um, mat and maybe a weight if you want to use it for the single leg jackknife. Okay, and we're going to go 30 seconds and 30 seconds. So each 30 seconds we change exercises and then um, we could take a rest in between. We'll see how we'll play it through. Even one 30 second, we're gonna go it's three times. So um, right after the hollow body flutter, it says rest one minute. We may, we may rest one, one round or two rounds, 30 seconds or a minute. Let's see how we feel. And then you obviously make your own decisions based on how you feel. Okay, you should be semi-recovered, all right? That's another way of monitoring your fit level. As you get fitter, you recover better, recover quicker. Your heart is able to come from 
a high intensity bout down to, um, well not normal, but close, right? Quicker. So, you know, hold on to the scale. I can't say get rid of the scale. We're never has a female have a female, I know. I always use the scale. But there are other <clears throat> indicators of your success, all right? Clothing, how you feel, recovery. Um, I'm wasting time. Um, crab dance, you're gonna have to watch you guys that have shoulder issues. That's the crab dance. And you might just even stay down here and touch, okay? Just keep your core engaged. If you can get a great big metabolic movement out of this, go ahead. If you can't, just do what you can, all right? Or modify it to something else. You could even do um, bicycle here, right? Okay, right now is your crown dance. Whoops, yeah, it went. I'm gonna go off my mat for this. Alternating single leg jack. The, that crab dance, if we did it more often, you'd be better at it, okay? So don't like beat yourself up if it felt really awkward. You could have one foot stabilizing at all times if you have issues. If you're standing up, you're just bringing a straight leg out in front of you. Plank, engage your core, okay? So you're not just, you know, just sitting down here doing nothing. I'm driving my elbows back, my toes forward, engaging my core. Thirty seconds rest. Good. We're back to uh, crab dance. Oh, sorry. We're on the butt flutter. Damn. There you go. There's the flutter. Wishful thinking on my part. That was over. <laughs> so with this flutter, you're gonna rest now. It could be up here. Um, you could be supporting your low back a little bit more. You could have bent legs for that clutter. All right, full extension is a long lever and it's difficult work, so pay attention to that. Crab dance. Can't wait. All right, we're having a good time. And it's a Friday, everything's great. Ugh. So, engage core, ready to go. Two, one, and crab dance. knife again. Those legs could be supporting you, bringing one up at a time. You could hover those legs. contraction on that core.
and flutter. All right. Oh, I feel like we're in, in a war zone. All right. Flutter. In, start to bring it into recovery. Oh. How you feeling? Glad that it's almost over. That's how I feel. Okay. All right. Crab dance. Pipe that butt right up off the ground. If you're doing the full thing, it's a thrust up to the ceiling. If not, you're just simply here without moving your butt and your torso up. All right? Which is a lot of work too. All righty. Alternating single. For that crab dance, Moving forward, anytime that's in there and you can't do it because all the joints involved, ooh, even that baby finger, um, just do a bicycle, all right? Um, One minute. Oh, we're on the flutter. I know. <laughs> Support low back, extend legs, and flutter. If your torso's up towards the ceiling, you're engaging that muscle further. It could be back here laying down. Choose your weapons. Right there, let's just... Uh, Roll that neck from side to side. Oh. Check the mobility in your hip joint. I still feel a lot of um, tension and muscle soreness in the front of my legs from Wednesday. Good. Deep breath in twice. And easy, slow exhale. recovery. Good. Have a great day, you guys. I'm heading up to Buffalo today, so I will see you tomorrow morning for stretch. And Sunday, I will we'll decide what we want to do, okay? Um, in the meantime, have a great day. Have a great Friday. And uh, I'll talk to you later. Get some cardio in. Or at least walking today. Walking. Yeah. It's a good thing.